Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and we have a Dollar Tree haul and there are tons of exciting items to share with you guys today in this haul. I'm going to try to make this haul be efficient as possible because you guys, I have so many items that I need to haul, use, and catch up on. So the first item that I can't wait to share with you guys because I really want to try it. Um, I bought two boxes and I gave one to my friend and she loved it. She said that it was absolutely delicious. Is this I Hot Mini Pancake Cereal blueberry and syrup flavor so it's like maple syrup and blueberries i mean how could that not be good and it's a huge box of cereal it is one pound three ounce box of cereal sweet and crunchy corn cereal it says so it's by general mills i'm so upset you guys i just realized it contains bioengineered food products this has been happening to me more and more. I didn't realize that. I'm going to taste it, and then I'm probably going to let my girlfriend have it because it, it does hurt my stomach when I eat that stuff. Now, let's see about this one. I just realized that this one is also bioengineered food ingredients. More and more food, not just in the Dollar Tree, but everywhere is that way. And I really do have food sensitivities but this does look like a really good cereal the Reese's Puffs Bunnies sweet and crunchy corn puffs I know so many people out there love this cereal and it's a limited edition cereal um you know I'm definitely going to try the I hop one because I'm dying to taste it but I'm probably going to give them both to my girlfriend because she loves cereal and it doesn't affect her but I mean at a dollar 25 I had to buy it no matter what it doesn't make everyone sick, just me. Now, I will tell you guys this. I love these, and I was eating them every day, and I was getting, I don't know if you guys could even hear in my walkthrough, my voice, I was starting to like have to take more and more allergy medicine, and then I realized that I'm severely allergic to these. <laughs> so, they're so good though. This is an empty box. I bought these golden graham treats, eight bars, and I ate one a day in my car every day. As I was driving around with my coffee, I was like, mm, 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 these are delicious. And then I was like, I don't know what's going on, but my throat is starting to kill me. Um, I was starting to have like a cough and almost a wheezing. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? Let me check those golden grams. And not only do they contain bioengineered food ingredients, but they also contain wheat and soy, which I'm allergic to. So these are a definite out for me, but I love them. Like I didn't even share with the fam. I ate every single one of these all to myself. Here is the nutritional information in case you're interested. You can screenshot it, but I, I have to tell you guys, these are delish. I'm gonna really have to start paying more attention to the labels on food. My cheeks are sunburned a little. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I was outside today in the sun, and even with the sunblock on, I'm so fair that this always happens. But the Dollar Tree is exploding with back to school gear right now and calendars. And this year, I know that the farmhouse calendars are the ones that everybody always wants. I know. Because, but uh, you know what? Although I love this calendar, the local grown calendar, which is super pretty and ultra farmhousey, I will admit that it is, and it's a really nice calendar. I have to say that a lot of these are the same as last year, right? The pictures. I mean, isn't it very similar to last year's? I can't find my, I think I gave them all away. So I don't know where mine is from last year, but if you have last year's, let me know. But um, this one, the farm life, it's not the same as last year's. Although this one I think is very similar to last year's right there, the joy, because I love the word joy. But the BU and the B, the sunshine, and these are beautiful. 
really, really gorgeous. I have to say that I totally love this calendar. It would be hard for me to decide on just buying one. And I, and I picked up several of this one because I know I'm going to put one of these in the Bumblebee collab because of the BU, which is August. They know that the farm cannot exist without the Bumblebee. But um, my personal favorite calendars this year are these. I love them. I think they are outstanding, gorgeous. You name it. They are it. They're beautiful. I mean... <laughs> They're so nice. I I can't get over how nice they are. This one, Wings of Wisdom, 2024 calendar. It's outrageous. Look at that. Wings of Wisdom. I mean, did you guys even for one second think that I wasn't going to love this calendar? How could I not? It's birds. And, I mean, is everybody going crazy over these calendars this year? Because I know everybody wants the farmer's market calendars, but... I just think that it's kind of amazing that you get an extra little bonus. It's not huge, but oh my God, it's so cool. It's, it's really nice. I love this. I'm, whoops, <sighs> me. I love the little wings of wisdom bonus that you get because first of all, I just look at that. It's, it's like my shirt. I don't know. I, you guys know that I love prints like this. The more texture and color the happier I am but it's something you're getting for free I like that but the calendar itself is amazing the front cover I'm opening it because I love it um, okay so of course they always have this piece of cardboard in here because it's actually a very thin calendar oh it's weighty actually this one I mean I love it. Look at this. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. It's a song. Name that tune, you guys. <laughs> so, oh my God. That's, I love this calendar so much already. It's really funny because I played that song every night when I would close my bar. Closing time. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. But the quote is actually... S-E-N-I-C-A, Seneca. I don't know, but that's January of 2024. And the owl is a wise and gorgeous bird. And I mean, I'm in love. I'm in love. Love makes the world go round is February. And look, it's love birds. Look, I love it. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to cut this calendar up. I want to put these lovebirds on a platter. I just love it. I want to do a DIY. I actually want to do DIYs with this calendar. That's how gorgeous it is. Hope sees the invisible, feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible for March. Why don't I own this wreath? Look, it's a bird wreath. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? I need everything that's happening here in, in real life. I need these birds with embellished Oh, wow. What? How come I've never seen crafters put jewels on birds? The, the birds in this calendar have jewels on them. I'm in love. Look at this. Dollar Tree needs to make birds with bling. I would buy blinged out birds for sure. Oh, yes. This is what my life is missing. Next, next decor section, bird bling. Birch and vine is fine, but I need birds with bling at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Look, I really, you guys, I'm not joking. When I say that I love flying objects, I do. <laughs> so wherever you stand, stand tall and proud. As a peacock, love it. That's April. And that is no April Fools. I just love this calendar. Then we have May. That's my son's birthday month. And it says, spread your wings, let your spirit soar. And look at this gorgeous folk art blinged out bird that has flowers behind its pretend little ear. I mean, I need wreaths with birds in them. I'm going to do that this year. I'm going to make, my New Year's resolution is to make wreaths with birds in them. Go where you feel most alive in June. 
calendar is absolutely beautiful. Look at the pages. I love it. I'm going to do magnets with all of the back cover. Look at that. Making magnets out of all of those with those Jenga blocks. I've seen it done. And now I'm going to have to do it because, but I really love this calendar. A friend is someone who knows all about you and still loves you. July. Oh my gosh. And that's where we are right now. We're in July. And I know who my friends are and who my friends are not. Trust me on that one. And August is why blend in when you can stand out. And that is so true. I, I firmly believe that people need to be who they are and not try to be somebody else. Oh, wow. September, my birthday month, I was just going to say, and I didn't even realize we were on September, that I love the colors in this one. So I love this. It says, your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. Oh, I have to make some kind of big move in September of 2004. 2000, 2004, I think I already made a big move to 2024. 2024, October is gorgeous. It says, keep your face always towards the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. Walt Whitman gorgeous 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 that i love i wonder who made these calendars like who is there a new designer and i'm gonna put this in my kitchen november the chicken one it's i i think that this is the one that everyone's gonna probably diy it's so cute for a kitchen or like a coffee area rise and shine and be thankful isn't that amazing and of course it's for thanksgiving but it's such a nice spin on the fall harvest but it's so so unlike anything that they've done i just love it i love it and december is beautiful and this reminds me of money-minded michelle with the peace dove she loves it but honestly i love it too all of my friends love all the things that i love constance loves butterflies michelle loves the peace sign and the peace obviously you know dove everyone knows is that but i love this too i love i love this calendar it's it is a work of art i'm gonna check okay so Correct me if I'm wrong, but this calendar, which is the one that they really did do new this year, is made by a different artist. Her name is Elizabeth Tyndall. The lady who's been doing it for years is this lady, Jennifer Pug, P-U-G-H, right? Is that right? Or am I crazy? Or am I losing it? But I'm noticing that my favorite calendar is made by somebody whose name is Jenny Fa, J-E-N-N-Y-F-A-W. So we have several new, you guys see that? Jenny Fa. So we have several new artists on the Dollar Tree calendar scene, and I'm finding this to be very exciting. I had a seriously hard time leaving Dollar Tree without buying a bunch of calendars. And the Secret Garden calendar is made by someone whose name is Susan Nickel or Suzanne Nickel, S-U-Z-A-N-N-E-N-I-C-O-L-L. -L. I hope that you guys don't wanna kill me if I go through the Secret Garden calendar with you really quickly because I just think it's also gorgeous. Now this is also a, tw a 2024 12 month calendar and it's called the Secret Garden, and it comes with a little planner as well, which is what I really, really love about this collection of calendars. And there were a few, quite a few to choose from, but I only bought two out of that box. I like to give these calendars as Christmas gifts, so I don't mind picking up extra. But here is what the Secret Garden's little Bloom Where You're Planted planner looks like. And look at that, it has bumblebees love it so cute it is so cute they're really generic on the inside but none of that matters because they're beautiful I love them and I actually think that little planners like that are convenient then we have secret garden on the front and it says if nothing ever changed there would be no butterflies 
And that is so true. Now, I have lots of friends in recovery and they would love this calendar. It's like symbolic. I love it, love it. But of course, one of my very best friends, Butterfly Mom Creations and More, I'm sure she already bought this calendar because, but if she didn't, she can have it. If nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies and the butterflies are beautiful. The print is beautiful. The colors they chose are beautiful. It's so on trend, but really, really sweet and nice. And I'm just impressed, impressed. Yes. That, now this is my January, you guys. Look at that. And do you know what that says right there? It says, cause I do not like winter. Like the seeds dreaming beneath the snow, my heart dreams of spring. Do you guys see that? That is my kind of calendar because my heart dreams of spring and summer all year long. I like this calendar so much, actually. I love the frame and I love the space for notes at the bottom. I just, lo I love them. Then don't wait for someone to bring you flowers. Plant your own garden and decorate your own soul with a gorgeous dress and birds, birds. It reminds me of Cinderella or I don't know, Snow White, I just, oh, Snow White was the one with the birds, but Cinderella is the one that needed a dress. Well, it's like a melding of the two or nothing of the sort, but either way, that's what it reminded me of. Cause look, the birds are helping it get dressed. The, it's so cute. The birds are decorating. The birds and the butterflies are decorating this dress for Cinderella or Snow White. I don't care, whoever, but look at how nice that is. Well, it could be for them actually, because they had love issues. Um, yeah, that makes sense. And look, there's even a bird in the pot. Do you guys see how, I mean, I love this. And Alice in Wonderland too. This is the best calendar ever too. Oh my God, an herb garden feeds the soul for March. Look at it. Look, I can't, you guys. I love these calendars. These are so up my alley. You know what? I, the farmhouse ones are somebody else's alley. This is my alley. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And blue and yellow. Oh my God, and birds. I just love it. I love, and a bumblebee. Look at that. Birds, bumblebees. It's like Dollar Tree made these, they, they made them for me, these calendars. And look at the lemon tree and ah, uh, bloom where you're planted is also gorgeous. It's from the little planner, but it does have the cute little bees. I love it. I mean, you guys, you can take these and decoupage them onto canisters or big mayo jars. You know, those big mayonnaise jars. I've done that. I've cut pieces of calendar out and just glued them onto mayonnaise jars and then put flowers in them because yeah, that's like the level, that is my kind of crafting. You paint the jar, that's free, cut some paper, decoupage it onto it, put some ribbon, put some fake flowers in it, and you're set. And, you know, honestly, it lasts for a lot of years. If, you know, if you weren't me, it could last forever, but I always inevitably break the jar and obviously that's that. If nothing ever changed, there'd be no butterflies. We saw it on the cover. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I love it. That's June. Then July. Wow. July is hummingbirds. And it says, learn to sip the sweet moments of life. I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. I hope you guys have not clicked off because you're like, did we really have to watch you go through every month? Wow, this is also beautiful. So August is absolutely wonderful. It says, let us sit in the sun and count every beautiful thing that we can see. See the turtle and the butterflies and the birds. I mean, this calendar is like Constance and me every month chatting on the phone. This was made for us. It's so cute. It's butterflies and birds on every single page. I love it. And September, my birthday month, if you have a garden and library, you have everything you need. There you go. That's so true because I, well, I don't have a flower garden, but I do have a lettuce garden and I do have a library. So I have everything I need. 
and the Dollar Tree started getting in books again. So there is that. The Earth Laughs in Flowers, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Oh, that's October. And you know what? I actually love this fall picture an insane amount. Look at how beautiful that is. The blue sets off those autumn colors so beautifully with the bumblebees because again without the bumblebees we would have nothing there would be no one there would be nothing in this world we would have no food and never mind bioengineered we would have nothing autumn is the year's last loveliest smile look at that is that not that's really nice and oh my god autumn is the year's last loveliest smile that's for November, Thanksgiving, beautiful with all of the creatures and the pumpkins. This is outstanding, outstanding. Wow, December is really unique. Look, it's like paper lanterns, almost like Asian Chinese New Year style, but it's actually for Christmas month and it has birds. You guys, I love this. Look at the colors. They're muted. Ay, ay, ay. This is so, so boho. So, so me. I love them. I love them both. They're beautiful. What do you guys think of these calendars? Did I go crazy this year or are these calendars not wonderful? Because I know that everybody's showing these and I know that everybody loves these calendars and you guys bought them, but... Did you guys buy these too? Please, in the comments down below, let me know if I just went crazy because I really thought that these were outrageously nice and I love that they come with these. So moving on in this haul, then it turns out, so I did show this in a walkthrough and I did tell you guys that they are nine by 12 two millimeters i guess i don't know i don't even know but this is what they look like ziploc bags and i was psyched psyched to get these bags and then i came to find out that i wasn't really supposed to be able to buy these they had accidentally put them out on the floor a whole case of them and dollar tree actually sends them to the dollar tree stores for dollar tree to I guess return items that are spoiled or dispose of them or I'm not really sure because I've seen them throw perfectly good stuff directly into dumpsters. So I'm not sure exactly what they're supposed to be using these for, but these are supposed to be used for internal stuff, but they did sell them to me. There's no barcode. I don't know. I found out later because the cashier went and grabbed some too and so did the assistant manager that was working that day. And it turned out that they were told later that they weren't supposed to buy them. And then when I came in, they were like, don't tell anybody. And I was like, oh, I already told everybody, but it's okay. They we're like, we weren't supposed to sell those. We had no idea that they're for internal use. And I was like, oh, well, I'm kind of so happy that I got them because I mean, I have 200 bags, but I, you guys know that I buy like a lot of small things like lipsticks or you know, smalls. And these are not necessarily food grade. I wasn't gonna use them in my kitchen. So I would only use these if I already have something, maybe in my freezer, like if John goes fishing or something like that, and I already have something wrapped in foil and in a Ziploc bag, I would maybe use this to additionally wrap it and then freeze it. Or I would use these really for smalls. Like I would put a bunch of eyeliners or a bunch of lipsticks or something like that in here. And they're nice, hefty Ziploc bags. And I just got lucky, but don't be looking for those because they're not, I got lucky, but I'm sorry guys. Those are actually, so that's why I wanted to tell you, I wasn't really supposed to be allowed to buy them. And I got lucky and sometimes, you know, into every life, a little happy rain shall fall. So weekly planner, 2024 planner agenda. I love this. I love this. I'm going to put the magnetic hook, those awesome heavy duty magnetic hooks on my um, freezer because I have like a freezer. I'm going to put it on my free, like a separate freezer. You guys know it, like a stand up separate freezer. I'm going to put it on that because my regular fridge is not magnetic, which is one of the things I hate about stainless steel, but 
The freezer is also stainless steel, but it's newer, so it is magnetic. Not that you guys care, but I have to explain these things. And I'm gonna hang it on there, and I'll probably do all of my calendar stuff on here and probably never use the actual calendars that I just shared with you for calendars. I'm gonna probably cut them up and make something out of them. But this is like up my alley. Goals for the week, reminder, important, pay attention to do this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and notes. And I love it. You can like put your appointments, put important addresses, just so you remember what you have to do. There's like a, a list of things that you could check off. I like the little post-its. I love the cardboard. It's even more beautiful when you take it out because it's actually matte, which for some reason I'm loving right now. I love this print so much. It actually, so the backside is white, as you guys can see, but the paper that they made this gorgeous print on, it actually, the print does go throughout the whole thing. I thought it might be blank under there, but it's glued on, so you can't do anything with this when it's over, but I just love it. I love, love this. I do really think that this is high end. You could even keep it on your desk as a desk blotter, you know, put your notes on as you're on your computer it's just so cool this is really useful i bought two bags of these jet puffed stackers you guys know that i love marshmallows i love marshmallows i absolutely love s'mores i mean i just told you that i practically poisoned myself eating my delicious graham golden grams treats which my god they were good so good but marshmallow i wonder oh no please please don't be bioengineered good news guys not bioengineered and that is why i love me some marshmallow so there is that i did pick up another tube of this concealer essentially ageless i actually really like this concealer especially in the summer where i just sweat off all my makeup or it washes off in the pool I would rather waste this than waste my Clinique concealer because honestly, Clinique isn't cheap and I hate wasting my Clinique concealer in the pool. I can't believe I have not hauled this yet, but I gave away a bunch of these already. I found these in the Dollar Tree a while ago and this is a five-piece nail polish set that uh, it's by a brand called More Than Magic and it originally sells for around $10 at Target, I think eight or $10. It says, keep calm. And so on the top right there, in the middle, there is like a skateboard, but it says, keep calm. And there's a skateboard like a unicorn. So are they saying keep calm and roll like a unicorn or skate like a unicorn or whatever it is? When you get it at the Dollar Tree, <laughs> you're saving like a unicorn because it's a magical savings where you get five bottles of nail polish for $1.25. That's 25 cents a bottle. And they're very cute colors. I gave some to my nieces. I'm trying to remember. I know I gave, I gave quite a few of these away. I just think that the colors are really cute. I mean, not just for kids. Adults can use them too. But this color on the end, it's like an iridescent green, beautiful color. They're small bottles, but they are absolutely beautiful colors. The white one has like gold shimmer in it. It's so pretty. They're really cute polishes for a little girl or a little girl and her mom. And you get five to choose from or one for every finger. I love it. And toes. So it's a great little buy. Next, I have a bunch of NYX lipsticks to share with you guys that I picked up at the Dollar Tree recently, and I have not seen more of them. I wish, I mean, the Dollar Tree has an abundance of fantastic lipsticks. I think I only bought the matte ones because, well, you got, wow, they're all mattes. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I did it on purpose, but I just love matte lipstick. So I'm really close and personal right now because the color that I have on right now, this one, is the color I'm about to show you guys. 
And the name of this lipstick is Strawberry Daiquiri. It is number MLS22. I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, MLS22. I don't know if I can. There it is. MLS22 Strawberry Daiquiri. Is that not such a beautiful color? I had a feeling I was going to love it, and I do. It's super matte. NYX lipsticks are wonderful. I don't know what this goes for in, I'm assuming probably, I, you know what, I've never, I don't think I've bought NYX. I don't know why I don't buy their lipsticks um, because they're really good quality. I very much like this lipstick. Then we have MLS 27, and this one is called Eden, I believe. Yes, Eden, and look at that color. It is heaven. It is a beautiful red. I will let you guys know when I'm wearing this one, but yes, that is truly a gorgeous, gorgeous red. And these lipsticks are very true to what you see in the package. I mean, look, this is the one I'm wearing. It's almost identical. That's, I love a lipstick that does that. There's no tomfoolery with that. I hate it when I look at the color in the tube and then I put it and swatch it and it doesn't look anything like it does in the tube. That's crazy. Then we have this one and I actually like this. It's sort of like a purpley lavender color, but not really. It's like a mauve neutral purpley color, which I think I can get away with because I want to match. So I did get this lipstick because I think I could pull this color off, I think. And the name of this color is MLS11 Tea Rose. And it's a really beautiful color, actually. Do you guys see that? It's like a really nice mauve -y. It's beautiful. And they're all mattes. All mattes make me happy. Now, this beautiful lipstick right here is the color. This It's called Whipped Caviar. Whipped Caviar. What does that remind me of? What was that guy's name? Um, Champagne Wishes and Caviar Dreams. Whenever I say the word caviar, that's what I think of. And um, I love, love that color, actually. That's a nice fall color. There it is. Do you guys see it? Perfect autumn color, even though it's summer. I don't... It kind of reminds me of strawberry daiquiri, but it's a little more fall. This one has a hint of summer. It's like almost no makeup. Like I think I sweated all my makeup off already. I have eyebrows and sunburn cheeks right now. Then this color is also super gorgeous. It is MLS08 and the name of this color is Pure Red. How could I leave that behind? gorgeous. I love red. There were a lot to choose from and I didn't buy all the colors that they had, but I love all the colors that I picked out and I will definitely wear them and share them with you as I wear them. I have these six lipsticks, right? Of course, I would definitely have grabbed the red ones. We all know I have red issues. I would have absolutely picked either the pure red or the indie flick because those colors are so me but then this color right here this eden which is like slightly darker than what i normally wear maybe i would have skipped that one and who knows i may love that one the most and the color that i'm wearing today which is strawberry daiquiri I would never have bought it i would have been like oh i can't buy them all i won't buy that one but some of my favorite nudes and like this is not a brown this is a a nude it's like a summer lipstick just a chillax almost like a lip balm but it's beautiful i love this color strawberry daiquiri i wouldn't have bought it though i would have bought only one or none honestly because i'm spoiled and unless it's dirt cheap i won't buy them but because dollar tree brings these awesome deals in for us I bought six and I found a new color that I absolutely love. Um, moving on, I did pick up this two pack of baskets. I love that they rounded the corners to a lot of the Dollar Tree staples. It just makes them, I don't know, more 
usable, more appealing to me. I love that softer edge and I love, I have a lot of lipsticks, you guys. I have lipstick issues. So I'm gonna fill trays with my lipsticks and that way I'll be able to keep order in my lipstick world because it's like the perfect height for lipsticks. You guys see that? You can even make a tear tray out of these, put something in the middle, glue it, and then have like a two level lipstick tear tray. But I just love the shape of that. And like I said, I'm gonna have to put my lipsticks in there. I do have tons and tons, but I, I use my lipsticks. You guys know that I always use, I use lipstick several times a day. Then I bought and love these cute little Buddhas. I, you know what? They're so tacky, but they actually match my tacky hair and outfit today and um, my tacky house. I, I love them, but I actually was planning on putting them in my backyard. I was going to spray paint them, but now that I'm looking at them, I sort of love them. They're so adorable. I love them. Love them, love them. I love anything. Remember when Dollar Tree had the little pigs that were hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil? So there's speak no evil, little baby Buddha, see no evil, little baby Buddha. I just think they're amazing for a buck and a quarter. They are so just kitsch, kitsch. They're just kitsch, guys. And hear no evil. I love them. Love, love, love them. They, they kind of... They really make me happy. They're really happy little guys. They're smiling, happy, cute little happy guys. Love them. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them anymore. What would you do with them? Would you guys spray paint them like one solid color? I mean, now that I look at their outfits, I sort of like them. But the, they really do match my tacky house. That's what it is. I, I kind of like them just as they are right now. But I was going to put them in my backyard. That was my plan. But plans change sometimes. I have some more paper goods. It's a hodgepodge, guys. You guys know how I just grab things out of bags. Um, Jot 2024 Planner Agenda. This is perfect. It's hardcover. I can throw it in my bag and nothing's going to happen to it. Spiral bound. I love it. Love it. Honestly, I don't even have to specifically put dates Oh, there aren't even dates in here, which makes it even better. I, I just love it. And it says, hello, gorgeous, which I love. I love the black background and the red roses, and it kind of matches the Buddhas. I love all of that together. And of course, we have this one that says, spread your wings. It's really beautiful with the butterflies because it's really symbolic. And I can give this to several people who are in the process of changing their lives. And I just love the butterfly for that reason. Um, now this is Christmas, a book, just a hodgepodge as it is in the bag. I showed you guys this book in the store and I was really happy to find it. I was like, ooh, I think Dollar Tree's getting books again. And I just think that this book is great to do DIYs with or put on your table during the holiday season and people can thumb through it. It's a really cute book. It's called Rejoice. We've seen it before. I've hauled this book several times. And each page had, okay, so when you open to, a, in every layout that you open to, it says, blessed is the season on this side. And then over here it says, which engages the whole world in a conspiracy of love. Hamilton Wright Mabby. Now, it's just like each page has a thought, like food for thought. I will honor Christmas in my heart. That's what it says here. And then on the other side, it says, and try to keep it all the year. Ebenezer Scrooge, A Christmas Carol. I love that. But I could see somebody making that into like a DIY. I think that this book is very DIYable. And then this one has this gorgeous mocha, peppermint, latte, hot coffee, we don't know, it could be hot cocoa. And then on the other side, it says, Christmas, my child, is love in action. Dale Evans Rogers. I just love it. I love everything about this book. It's so simple and yet full of holiday cheer. And all of the pages, you see why I'm saying it's like super, if you can't afford a scrapbook and you're trying to really be on a bougie budget, 
find this book. It has lots of material to do crafting with. Do you guys see that? Like craftable paper for a dollar twenty-five. You can't buy a scrapbook of paper for the. And I mean, there's lots of cool. See, like look, just lots of cool pages to craft with. But um, I already have this book, so I picked this copy up for a future Christmas gift for you guys. I found this Campbell's cooking sauce in the Cajun as well as the garlic honey mustard. I only picked up the garlic honey mustard because it sounds really good to me and it says that you can have it with chicken or fish and um, the Cajun one sounds like it would be too spicy for me. I can't handle spicy, but I mean, you can use it in your Instapot, so that sounds good. Then I also picked up two Velveeta sauces. Every once in a while, I like to make a pot of elbow pasta and put in some broccoli and some chicken and just make like a simple mac and cheese, semi-homemade, not really. I add like my own stuff to this, but the Velveeta cheese sauce does kind of get it started. And for $2.50, it makes life a little easier than buying. I would never buy one of those big bricks, but I add to this. I don't just use this. And I make like a big pot and then I freeze some. I like to make meals and then freeze portions so that when I'm busy or can't cook that day, I can take stuff out of the freezer, leave it out to defrost and or leave it in the fridge to defrost. And then the boys can just eat that. And can we talk about this, you guys? This, I've already been using this in the shower in absolute happy ecstasy. Now, I, I'm i telling you guys, this is one of the best things I've gotten at the Dollar Tree in a long time. I love it so much. I have been using my Jelly Cucumber one by the brand M-E exclamation point. And then I use this, I just stuck my finger in it completely. I don't know. Oh my God, it smells so good. Between those two together... The whole bathroom smells amazing. The whole house smells it. Like literally I come out of the bathroom and the whole house smells like what I've showered in between the M-E exclamation point cucumber melon and this pear jasmine foaming body scrub with shea butter free and lovely by Bodycology. Now we already know that Bodycology is the bomb, but this free and lovely by Bodycology is next level amazing. Next level amazing. It's proudly free of parabens, phthalates, dyes, animal testing not happening, and it doesn't have mineral oil. And I wish, I wish we had smell O2 because, oh, it smells so good. It smells like a dessert. It smells like jasmine, which I don't love jasmine, but the pear gives it like a little pizzazz and personality. And it's a good, thick, thick scrub. I hope you guys find this. It's remarkably amazing. I know there's another scent out there and I am on the mega, mega hunt. Um, I have not yet found it. This is 11 ounce, 11 ounce, what? Wow, that's why, this is heavy you guys. It's a good size. Really, this is an amazing deal. What a fantastic find. I wish that I could find tons and tons of these. Like, I wish that they brought in tons and tons of this, how they brought in the hand soap. They brought in by Bodycology the cucumber melon, the pumpkin spice, and the pink vanilla wish in droves. Everywhere I go, I find it in hand soap. I hope, hope, I mean hope, that they bring this free and lovely Bodycology pear jasmine and any other scent that they want to bring in in droves to that level because this would be amazing to give out during the holidays and really useful. I could pair this with a scrubby on top, make it look Christmassy. Um, I could put like a red scrubby on top of it for a couple bucks. That's a gift and a really luxurious one because I love it. It smells amazing. They will love it too. It's a good, good product. Fingers crossed. I hope they bring that. I grabbed a couple packages more of the Cheez-Its, the white cheddar. I don't really care which ones I grab. 
Um, you get five bags. My son loves Cheez-Its, so I grabbed that. He loves crackers, loves Cheez-Its, and I do like to eat these every once in a while, and honestly, I could eat like an entire Big Pepperidge Farm package of these with my coffee, so I don't mind paying $1.25. I'm just going to check right now. This is bioengineered too. I had no idea, but you know what? Honestly, I don't eat them all that often. I can't believe this. I'm starting to really get crazy now. This is a little nuts. Almost everything that is, I mean, honestly, when I go to Aldi's, nothing I buy is bioengineered, you guys. So please don't be mad at me. I can't help it. I can't eat that stuff, but it's inevitable. It is in most packaged foods these days. Not at Aldi's though, because most of the things that I get at Aldi's are GMO free. I think I'm going to start doing some Aldi's hauls um, because I love Aldi's. Anyhow, I do buy these whenever I see them. Just one because I love to have them with coffee. They're so good when you just want to have like a yummy sweet treat and clearly give yourself a stomach ache. I love a good butter cookie. I can't, I love like boring desserts like marshmallows, butter cookies, tapioca pudding, things like that. The Pepperidge Farm Mini Chessmen. I did buy a bag. It's bioengineered. It's going to give me a stomach ache. I have the yellow one and I've already been using it, but I picked up the Ideal Bath Jumbo Size Luxury Bath Ball for John. He picked the blue, I picked the yellow, and those are just amazing. Look, look, look. Like as Mercedes One Crafty Ginger says, look at it compared to my head size. But it is big, you guys. I'm going to say look at it compared to, I don't know what, but it's big. It's big, big. You can see that it is super luxurious. I love mine. I used mine in the shower with the open, well, I've opened two of these now, but they're going to get used up and I absolutely love them. I grabbed another one of these Vaseline all-purpose creams because although you could put this anywhere and it's wonderful, I love the scent of it. You know what? I ordered the bottle through Amazon that says the exact same thing, Vaseline intensive care in the pump with the glycerin and vitamin E and I don't like it as much. What's that about? That is so weird and crazy, right? It's for soft and healthy skin and on the back it shows that it's an advanced formula. Put it on your rough elbows, your dry knees, your cracked heels, and your dry hands. And I love to put this on my heels. It's summer and I can't be walking around looking like horse hooves for feet. I can't be walking around with ashy heels or horse hooves. So you gotta moisturize and this really is intense care. I love this product. I feel like Dollar Tree has been restocking it continuously for us. And I'm just happy to buy it whenever I see. Wait, did they downsize this? For some weird reason, it looks smaller to me right now. It's 1.41 ounce. I'm going to compare it to my other ones from last year. I still have one because did this get smaller? Either way, I still love it. And I'm happy that I have it in my possession. Picked two of these amazing products out. I love them. The Activity Paint Tray. I feel like these are great for me putting away a little project that I'm working on. Like if I'm repairing an earring or if I'm making, sometimes I like to make jewelry. That's something I actually do. Or I repair jewelry or something like that. I can work on it in here put the little items that I'm working with in here. You can use the string in here even when you're doing jewelry and you can close up your project and tuck it away until you feel like working on it again without losing all the components. Or you can put important papers in here and tote them around without them getting wet or ruined, even legal size papers. So if you have to go to court and help someone in court or whatever it is, a closing or something like that, you can put your papers in here and bring them without them getting disturbed in any way. I, I feel like where you can use this for exactly what it was intended for, which is painting. Either way, I think these are awesome, awesome, very useful 
for $1.25, I feel like there's a limitless amount of things that you can actually think of doing with them. And then I'm going to um, show you these on the floor. These are unbelievably cool items at $1.25. They are powered, they take a battery, they have a pull string that you have to, um, see you do this, and you put the batteries in them, and this, they're amazing guys, I'm gonna demonstrate. These are absolutely fantastic. For a buck and a quarter, I'm gonna get a case of these. I'm, I'm gonna try to get a couple cases of these and give these out for the holidays. So I am on the mega, mega hunt for more of them. I do not see them on the website, but I'm thinking that before the holidays come, they will bring them. And I called Dollar Tree and I gave them the SKU number at customer service and they told me that they are pending to become available online. So if you run a nonprofit or you have like a daycare and you need little gifts for the kids or you're making goodie bags these are fantastic let me show you guys here we go right for a dollar 25 can you believe how cool those are I, and i'm i'm stunned this is probably one of my and they're virtually indestructible they're made very well i don't i'm not scared to give these to what age group does it actually say it's allowed to be given to? 18 months. I'm not scared. These are very well made, you guys. Super well made. Of course, watch the kids with them, but I love them. This Sprecher soda brand is delightful. This cream soda is made with honey. It's delicious, you guys. I absolutely love it. Love, 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 love this. I bought a few, I've already tasted it, and I love it. And it says fire brewed craft soda. That's so cool. I don't know what that even means, but I'm impressed by it. Wait, wait. And I also bought my Rice Krispie Treats, which I don't even want to know if these are bioengineered. You know why? Because this is my all-time favorite treat of life. I love Rice Krispie Treats. There's five in here for $1.25. I buy them all the time. They're almost always in some store and a five pack. If you go to enough Dollar Trees around here, you'll almost always find the five pack, but I like it when I see them in all the stores. That means they're fresh. And these are the ones that have the M&Ms. Love that. I love Rice Krispie Treats and marshmallows. And now this, when I found these, I was ecstatic. These sell for, I think four bucks, for 390 something each at Walmart. And nobody secures their beach towel with one. Everybody wants two. So if I bought these in Walmart, I would have needed $8 to hold my beach towel that cost me maybe $5 onto its chair. But I paid more for my beach towel. But regardless, I paid $2.50 in the Flamingo towel clip. Love, 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 love this. How cool are those? Are those not a fantastic find? Look at that. Absolutely love it. Then I got the fish. Look at how cute. You can also use, can use these to hold down your tablecloth at a picnic table. There's a lot of things you can use these for. I really, really like them. The fish are super cute. Then we have for the tropical bird lover. They make cute gifts, hostess gifts whatever. I just like to give people things from the Dollar Tree and call it any kind of gift I could think of. And that's how I roll. And then we have these parrots. I love them. Love them. Like, look at that. I love, what else can I do with this? It's so cute. I need to find something else to do. Oh, I can decorate my bathroom towels with them. Oh yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to clip it onto my towel in the bathroom when I'm not using them. And of course, last but not least, the flip flop towel clip would be nothing if it did not have an actual flip flop version. And the flip flop version is so adorable. I mean, I am in extra mega super love with that flip flop version. It's just hilarious, cute, and utility. 
because nobody wants their beach towel flying away while they're enjoying the ocean. I have already used this, absolutely love it. I gave one to my husband, he absolutely loves it too. These Spongibles Pre-Tan Exfoliator Body Wash in a Sponge Coconut Colada with coconut oil and olive oil sponges, 15 uses. These were also from Walmart, are amazing. Grab them, you will love them. They are look, they are wonderful, I love them. I love pre-loaded sponges like this. I love them, I absolutely love this. I think for $1.25 in coconut colada, I mean, who could ask for anything more? That's perfect for the summer. Okay guys, so this is the long-awaited 17K subscriber appreciation gift filled with tons and tons of Dollar Tree unicorns. Little Lists from a Happy Life is a journal. This Wayward Square is a contemporary fountain. This is not from Dollar Tree. It's actually a CVS score. This originated at Walmart and I just recently picked it up at the Dollar Tree. It's a water resistant tote. This is an awesome mirror from Five and Below that also does contain storage in the back. It does have a little storage in the back. Perfect size for your 10 piece brush set. Then we have this SGX NYC under control finishing spray we also have the sgx so whipped mousse we have the bounce back curl refreshing mist the marajo hair care system shampoo and conditioner and the hair capsules we have the clean slate detoxifying dry shampoo we have the eight-piece derma planing system by Hollywood Expressions and the Hollywood Expressions microfiber towel wrap because there's lots of goodies for our hair here. We do have the Just Glow All Over Glow Hard Candy Wonderful Serum. This, this awesome glitter eyeshadow palette is a perfect complement to the Vare Beauty 120 color eyeshadow palette called Star Lush that I found at the Dollar Tree, you guys. But this Cara Beauty glitter palette, it is sealed. This is the plastic coating right here. This is Cara Beauty and it has never been used. It is from TJ Maxx. Then we have the Enamel Safe Whitening Tray Arc Whitening System. Of course, a fabulous pair of shades. Some bobby pins for our hair by Scunchy. This gorgeous turquoise one size fits all jewelry set. The Voluptuous Volume Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Also included in this subscriber appreciation gift is the Derma Geek Retinoid Overnight Niacinamide, the SPF Niacinamide, the Vitamins and Antioxidants, the Beta Hydroxy Acid, the Sulfate SLS Free Fragrance Free Facial Wash. All of these items are awesome items for our skin and they are all included in the subscriber appreciation gift. You will be receiving these amazing Cala Professional Stainless Steel Detachable Comb Brow Groomers some eyelashes to go with this amazing eyeshadow collection. Just the eyeshadow collection alone would have been a fantastic gift, you guys. But I could not possibly stop there because we have eyes, lips, and a face, and I had to cover all my bases and our hair. I love to include products for the hair. Also is this awesome Spongibles body wash in a sponge. This is Originally from Walmart, but it did pop up in the Dollar Trees. Also included is the Ombra Flesh Palette. It's one of my favorite finds of the year. It is absolutely fabulous. And doesn't it pair so beautifully with the Academy of Color Cashmere Satin Liquid Lipstick? This is such a beautiful set right here. The brushes and that would have been a great gift, but that would not be a Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict giveaway. Then we have the Rebel BYS eyeshadow palette, one of my favorites, the Hard Candy Glow Primer. We have this absolutely amazing European Wax Center Mask Me Sleep Mask, absolutely fabulous product I, that I love. 
Also included is a bottle of this Rockaholic dry shampoo. I absolutely love this product. Absolutely love it. I was so lucky to receive some of these Vivo masks from Mel, couponing for a cause, as well as one Crafty Ginger Mercedes that I've included one in this skin, face, hair, and makeup giveaway. Also included is this Look Studio five-piece eye kit that I just love, and there's lots of new toys for you to do eye looks in this subscriber appreciation gift. This is my all-time favorite, favorite palette that I have ever unearthed in the Dollar Tree. It is called All That Rose Gold by Hard Candy, and it is also included, even though there are plenty of other eyeshadows included in this giveaway, I could not resist adding one of these into my 17K subscriber appreciation gift. You will also receive all six of these beautiful velvet mousse lip treatments, one of these Cala Beauty retractable brushes, as well as all of these gorgeous lipsticks. We have the 007 by Revlon, one of my favorite reds, this beautiful lip balm by L'Oreal. We have this gorgeous 027, which is a matte color called Obsessed. This is a beautiful lip gloss gloss number 070 intoxicating spice this is actually a lip gloss by maybelline it is so so nice i love how this opens and so will you i have included all sorts of colors for all sorts of people we have this beautiful purpley cover girl melting pout and this nude CoverGirl melting pout i have included number 1765 syrup kiss lip stain i've also included this hashtag trending number 465 super beautiful pink lipstick also included in this giveaway are three different shades the red the orange and the pink of these absolutely wonderful plumping lipstick serum lipsticks. These are amazing, guys. They are going to plump you right up. Now, all of these items are available to my subscribers. You must be subscribed to the channel. These beautiful Lustrous Lights Milani highlighters. And of course, don't forget that you are getting brushes for everything, brushes for it all. And we have the gorgeous faux jeweled lashes that I already showed you guys, but I just love. You're also going to get these fantastic one-on-one, -on -one, give them cheek and lip treatments. I love these for summer blush. I absolutely love them. They are wonderful. There are three different shades. You are getting the nail and toe clipper by Chica in rose gold. Also included is this hard candy purplish eyeliner as well as this really cool violet nova because sometimes just playing around with colors and you'll have plenty to play with is really fun as well as this hard candy exfoliating coconut oil and sugar scrub instant lip fix i love this product and so will you a couple of my other absolute favorites are the chapstick Total Hydration Sea Minerals Nourishing Lip Balm as well as the Lip Overnight Treatment. So you guys, you must be subscribed to the channel. You must be over 18. You, you understand that I bought all of these products. I bought them. I'm shipping them. If you would like five extra entries to win this fantastic subscriber appreciation gift, email me at onesurvivoralways at gmail.com a screenshot of where you shared it and I will make sure to put you on the list of people who have five entries instead of one into this fantastic subscriber appreciation gift. I did recently find this holograph stick by C Color. It is a white highlighter, but I actually like to use that as a brow highlighter. It's fantastic. Also included in this amazing gift to you guys is the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Sheet Mask, which I think is a fantastic product, as well as the British Rose, which is an amazing scent, shower gel, as well as the Body Scrub by the Body Shop. These are some of my very favorite products, and I wanted to make sure that you guys could try them too. Now, this eyeshadow palette right here by Vare happens to be mine. I wanted to show you guys all the amazing 
colors that you can learn to try and play with, but yours, which is tucked away right there, has never been open, and it is sitting behind the wonderful, luxurious Eucalyptus Relieve Bubble Bath by Equation. We have received so many wonderful products this year at the Dollar Tree that it is always my pleasure to share them with you, my wonderful Dollar Tree studs. You're probably like, okay, enough, I want in. What do I gotta do to enter this giveaway? What? Well, what you have to do is just like I said, be subscribed to the channel. Understand that I bought this stuff. I'm shipping it out to you. It's this subscriber appreciation gift is available to be entered by residents of the good old USA. I'm sorry, you guys, but shipping is crazy internationally at this time. Maybe as my channel grows, I will be able to afford to ship internationally. But in the meantime, since that's what we're hoping for, little lists for a happy life, the hashtag for this amazing prize is going to be be yourself because this is one of the last items that I am putting into the subscriber appreciation gift. I absolutely love this mug. I think it suits the palette so much. I picked it up at Marshall's. I love the color of it on the inside and the hashtag for my 17K subscriber appreciation gift is hashtag be yourself and get to 20K. Did you guys get that? Hashtag be yourself and get to 20K. And please remember to like the video, be subscribed, leave a comment down below. Hashtag be yourself and let's get to 20K. And you guys, if you share the video, like I said, you will get five entries and you will be taking me one step closer to my goal of growing my community so that I can help others. That is the goal of this channel. This channel was started so that I could share my amazing Dollar Tree finds with my friends and bring awareness to my nonprofit called Garage Sales Against Violence. It is an officially credited 501c3 and the quicker we get to 20K, the more people I'll be able to help. I wish you all all luck. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this subscriber appreciation gift. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye. And that is it, you guys. I don't know how I ended up all the way. I've like moved around in this haul. That is everything that I can share with you in this haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, then please make sure to leave my video a thumbs up. And if you can, share the video, it would be greatly appreciated. In the last few months, my channel has suffered a lot and I've really taken a hit. So please, you guys, if you can share the video, it's so appreciated. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.